If the times demand it, we'll be revolutionaries, criminals, terrorists, and yes, we may all be headed straight to hell. But what better place for us than this? It is our only home, our heaven, and our hell. This is utter heaven. And that, ladies and gents, is one of the very last Metal Gear Solid lines we've heard from the legend who brought to life two of the strongest characters in the video game industry. David Hayter, the man who voiced the iconic role of legendary soldier Solid Snake, as well as the greatest warrior of the 20th century, the original Snake, Big Boss. Can you believe it's already been 10 years since David Hayter's last performance in the Metal Gear series? How long? David has been voicing Solid Snake since the release of the original Metal Gear Solid in the year 1998 and quickly became renowned for bringing the legendary clone soldier to life with his soldierly gruff voice. An iconic voice which Hater successfully pulled off with unmatched talent. You could say that like ourselves, many longtime MGS fans grew with Hater's performance as Snake since their childhood and saw this character drastically evolve through the years. With every title, Metal Gear games have taken us through a roller coaster of emotions for many years, keeping us mesmerized by their renowned cinematic quality and most of all, the realistic voice acting that ultimately brought the games to life. If we make it through this, I'll tell you. All beautifully led by voice director Chris Zimmerman, an approach which Hater flawlessly performed ever since. From Snake's strongest days in Shadow Moses and the Big Shell, up until his last moments of peace as Old Snake. Despite there being mixed reactions by some fans who thought Old Snake should have been played by another actor in a similar scenario to Richard Doyle's Old Big Boss role, we personally believe Hater pulled off an amazing job in performing the role of a much older Solid Snake himself, even though Solid Snake was 42 during MGS4, but of course looked older due to having accelerated aging imprinted into his modified DNA. Accelerated aging? They don't know the cause. It's not easy to be in your late 30s and voice someone who sounded in his late 70s. It was thanks to David's talents that we were able to relate much more with the aging of the very same soldier we had originally heard back in 1998. This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? This is Snake. Do you read me? By doing this, I'll be able to hold a knife at the same time and still keep the gun steady. In 2004, the Metal Gear series transitioned into the 1960s, and just as Snake, David Hayter shed his skin from Solid Snake to Naked Snake as Snake Eater told the origin story of the original Snake, who would become the long-known villain from the original Metal Gear games on MSX, Big Boss. We can't leave yet. I've still got one last job to do. Altering his voice to better distinguish between Solid and Naked, Big Boss's story would continue progressing with Portable Ops and Peace Walker, two titles which were both released for the PlayStation Portable system, yet still carried the essence of Metal Gear games and had even introduced iconic characters that would become important to the series, such as Roy Campbell and Gray Fox, with both titles featuring David Hayter as Big Boss. In 2010, Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker was released, 10 whole years since this video, and that's the last time we've heard David Hayter in his role as Big Boss, or any other snake for that matter kept you waiting, huh? And you've kept us waiting long enough, old friend. Kept you waiting, huh? 
Thousands if not millions of longtime MJS fans were saddened to hear a different actor voice Big Boss during the opening sequence of Ground Zeroes. Metal Gear Solid V brought us a phantom pain from day one, as the iconic snake voice we've grown used to for over 15 years was replaced by Hollywood actor Kiefer Sutherland. You lose, Commander. As might have been expected, this controversy ended up all over popular gaming websites and led to debates among fans throughout countless forums. You're all diamonds. And while Kiefer did an outstanding job with his performance in his own way, he was a totally different big boss than David Hayter. And for good reason, since at the end of MGS5, fans discovered Sutherland was in fact portraying a new snake and not the real big boss. As followers on our channel may know, we have our own theories as to why we believe the Ground Zero's mission we've played was being experienced through a brainwashed Venom Snake and not the real big boss, which ultimately explains why Kiefer Sutherland was also featured in Ground Zero's, and David Hayter was never actually replaced. I never actually said that. But that's a story for another time. Of course, being the legend that he is, Hater still had plenty of respect towards Kiefer Sutherland despite taking his place as the big boss icon, and even snapped a picture together when the two crossed paths not too long ago. While he thinks Kojima handled his replacement pretty badly for the fact that he wasn't even contacted by anyone with the news, Hater still respects Hideo as a brilliant game maker, but doesn't feel he should go back to work with him again. The former Snake actor also claimed he'd never play MGS5 due to the, quote, humiliation, which is certainly understandable. Having said that, David did enjoy a recent video we made dubbing his voice on some of the Big Boss cutscenes in Metal Gear Solid 5, and that's good enough for us, at least for now. Throughout the past 10 years, Hater clearly maintained his love for his snake character and was even professional enough to voice his iconic role again on certain occasions, such as the special codec reunion for the Metal Gear Solid movie organized by director Jordan Vogt Roberts on the series' 31st anniversary, an awesome Metal Gear Solid cameo in a Ford commercial, as well as returning to voice both Solid Snake and Naked Snake in Konami's Super Bomberman R. After all, there aren't many voice actors who end up appearing in the game themselves, or have their character name just like them. So, where to, Snake? David. My name's David. Okay. So where to, Dave? No matter how many different actors get to voice our Snake protagonists in future years, there's room for only one Snake and one big boss. Hater's iconic voice talent redefined the Metal Gear series for us and gave life to an icon that inspired millions of fans all around the world. David, if you're watching this video, we'd just like to say thank you for your incredible performances throughout the years and for remaining loyal to your fans despite the odds. We cannot wait for the day we'll hear you say those magic words again. Magic words, boss. I've been waiting nine years to hear them. Kept you waiting, huh? Come on. This brings us to the end of yet another Metal Gear Solid video. If you liked this video and would like to see more Metal Gear Solid content, hit that like button and make sure to subscribe to our channel. We'll make sure to return the favor with content you won't find anywhere else. Thank you for watching. Until we meet again, Python and Selkin, out.